Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the Prater Shoeing Machine. Please read the safety instructions before attempting to use the machine. Brother AS1430S sewing machine is compact and easy to use. This machine is perfect for sewing and mending and suitable for the beginner sewing. Featuring 14 built-in stitches, 4 step buttonhole, and auto set stitch length and width. The free arm sewing surface is easily convertible from traditional flat bed to free arm for sewing cuffs and sleeves. It also features LED lighting for bright and easy sewing, as well as top load bobbin for easy setting, easy maintenance, and clear view. This sewing machine comes with a DVD that takes you step by step into sewing and includes all the instructions for two great start sewing projects. Sewing machine parts and functions. First is foot controller jack. Plug in the foot controller plug and connect the machine to the power supply. Foot controller. This controls the sewing machine speed and to start and stop sewing. Press the pedal lightly for slow speed and press harder for faster speed. 3. Main power and swing light switch. You can turn the main power and swing light switch on and off. Turn off the switch button while it's not in use and during changing part of the chewing machine. 4. Hand wheel Use to manually raise and lower the needle. Usually, I use the hand wheel when I start chewing to help the engine smoothly start it. Five, bobbin winder. This winds the thread onto the bobbin for use as the lower thread. Spool pin. This holds the spool of thread. If using the big roll of thread, put it upside down in this spool pin. Pattern selection dial. It's used to choose the stitch desire or needed. It's easy to use. Just rotate the dial in either direction to choose the stitch you want. The stitch type and how to use it will be discussed in detail in other video. 8. Buttonhole Fine Adjustment Screw. This adjustment ensures both sides of buttonholes are the same. Reverse Sewing Leather It's used to sew backward. Push this lever to stitch in the reverse direction. Presser Foot it used to hold fabric flat as it's fed through the machine and stitch. This presser foot can be changed in different fit function. Thread guide. This is used when winding the thread onto the bobbin and also threading the machine. Upper Tension Control Dial This controls the tension of the upper thread. I usually set in the number 4 for basic cotton fabric. Thread Take-up Lever it 
pulls the thread from the spool to feed it through the machine and lifts the thread back up out of the, of the clothes after a stitch has been made. Presser foot lever It used to raise and lower the presser foot. Thread cutter Pass the thread through the thread cutter to cut them. This addition part is not always found it in every portable sewing machine. Flat bed attachment with accessory compartment With the flat bed attachment, free arm sewing is possible. It can be removed while sewing the sleeves. Bobbin. It's won the thread and supplies the bottom threads of stitch. For this machine, the bobbin size is 11.5 mm. It can be made from plastic or metal. Usually, I have many bobbins and I use it for different threads color. Bobbin place and cover where the bobbin stay for lower thread. Okay, that's all for the part 1. In the part 2, we are going to discuss about how to do the threading and how to win the bobbin. Bye guys, thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos, and if you like this video, give me thumbs up.